Why are you expecting this sort of victory for you? No, no, definitely not. Um, we're obviously every team goes in hoping for a five 0 win. Um, but I think the way that we've been in in a certain element of form, um, the way the boys have gone up top, um, and then today that we showed that our middle order was still um, ready to fire when put under pressure, and those sorts of things, especially in T Twenty cricket, can be really fickle. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say Pakistan have necessarily played all that badly that well they definitely haven't they've, they've played incredibly well um but to be put on the back of three 200 run chases in a row only being 30 or 40 runs short in the end of each one which are incredibly hard to do um you know you either get really close or nowhere near and they got really close most of the time so the the way that they've performed here has actually been exceptional and we're just on the slightly higher end of the form scheme at the moment and i think for us it, we try to not be too high when we're high and not to be too low when we're low. And hopefully that keeps us consistent and, and we try to stick to our process as much as possible and understanding some days it's going to result in a 4-0 um, series from this point in time so far. But And other days we could do exactly the same thing with the same attitude and Pakistan may just outplay us on the day. So I think T20 cricket can be fickle like that and it can be read into quite a lot. The problem is one side that Pakistan calling the tag being exposed here in this series, in T20 series. Was there any special player against Pakistan fast bowler, especially Harry Stroke? He, he, he looks very normal bowler in this series. I mean, it definitely doesn't feel like a normal bowler, I'll tell you that for free. Um, you know, at the end of the day, teams playing away from home, it's always going to be tougher. Um, and, you know, when they're in more home-like conditions, their slow balls grip a little bit more, and the way that they go about things at home um, is incredibly effective, and, and we really struggle over there. Um, and as you'd like to hope, when we come into our home conditions, we'd like to hope that we're a little bit stronger at what we do best. And for us, um, it's it's understanding the dimensions of the ground, um, understanding that we can target certain bowlers, and at, at the end of the day, it's not that the Pakistan bowlers have bowl any worse than they normally do. It's just small grounds, hard, hard things to, to control. Um, batters swinging hard. Um, the pitch has been incredibly, incredibly good. Um, you know, even the way that their slow balls held today and, and all in the other games, they've definitely put us under a lot of pressure. Um, but as you see, like, you know, Finn in the last game um, and then also in the game of Seton Park, things like that really, I guess, put pressure on bowlers and as Shaheen showed today, when, when the ball's swinging up top as well, they're, they're formidable. Um, and we just managed to dig ourselves out of a hole today. But I, I would certainly say the Pakistan bowling unit is incredibly strong. Yeah, I think it was just about what was needed at the time. Um, I was saying to Daryl out there, I'm sorry, I'm taking so much of a strike. And, you know, but at the end of the day, it's a partnership and, and sometimes things start off a little bit slower, but hopefully, especially on such a, a nice batting pitch, um, if you get in and you give yourself a chance to go big and go long, then it gets easier as the day gets on um, or as the night gets on under lights. So um, for us, we, we always thought as long as we could take it a little bit deeper, we would always be in for a chance. Um, and it's not the usual type of innings that I play, and, and I understand that, but it's at the end of the day, it's what the team requires. And... Um, you've got to be adaptable and, and change the situations out there and, and that's what I enjoy so much about being in the middle order. What are your opinion on Sunday? The Blackheads could sweep a strong Pakistan team uh, quite well. You know, she looked to build towards that big Aussie series and the World Cup, obviously, in June. It's a big few months for Blackheads to win quite well. What do you think they remain to the group? Oh, it would be incredible, but as, as we've all said, Pakistan are a formidable side. Um, they come time and time again. They put us under pressure all the time. The, this time around, obviously, it's home conditions, and we've been on our on our best at this um, in this competition. And you know, it, it would be fantastic to go five 0 but obviously, it, it comes down to making one right decision at any point in time. The guys stick to their processes, but you know, Pakistan will keep coming back hard. They'll keep putting their best foot forward. They've got amazing bowlers. Their batting lineups incredible. So for us, it's definitely not about taking anything for granted and understanding that it's going to be a different pitch out there again on Sunday and they'll be coming hard again. So we've got to start again and I'm sure they're going to do the same. Yeah, a little bit sore today. Um, it's a bit different running around on a bigger field compared to the other ones. Um, for us, 
trying to put as much energy into our field and element as possible um, is something that we pride ourselves on. And at the end of the day, if I'm coming off the field feeling absolutely knackered and I've, then I've definitely done my job and I've given everything I can to the team on the day. Just that last question for me, but would you make the ball performance uh, where the, you know, guys like Matt Henry really stepped up uh, and got on that sheet with some boots and iron time? What would you make those two guys? Yeah, they were brilliant. Um, Sadden has obviously been incredible for us for a long time, the way he's able to change pace. Um, you know, he even got a couple to, to turn on a pitch that almost looked um, like it was going to be glass. So obviously he does that all the time anyway, but um, the way he complimented Matt Henry through the middle, Southie's last over at the death, the, those things end up being massive in the in the context of the game overall. Um, and obviously, some guys are always going to have better day than better days than others. And for us, it's about working as a collective unit. The bowlers group, they know exactly what they're after. Even if someone goes for more than they're than they're intending to go for, um, we know that there's always a plan. There's always ideas around it and you know we'll always go back to the drawing board if something doesn't work but today a lot of a lot did work and we're very pleased with it